Hello everyone, hope you are learning well. So in this video, we'll discuss the second problem of bi-weekly contest triple one. It's a medium level problem, uh, but yeah, the accuracy is very low. Uh, we'll we'll see. This is a different type of problem, and how to solve this, we'll see that in this video. Uh, we'll we'll see that in a generalized way so that you can solve similar type of problem. Okay. The problem name is make string a subsequence using cyclic increments. Okay. The problem statement says that you are given two zero index strings, string one and string two. Now in an operation, you select a set of indices in string one and for each index i in the set, increment str1 of i to the next character cyclically, right? Or whatever is this term. Basically, you increment it to the next character. That is a becomes b, b becomes c and so on and z becomes a. So it's a cycle. A goes to B, B goes to C dot dot dot, then Z comes back to A. Simple. Now return true if it is possible to make string 2 a subsequence of string 1 by performing the operation at most once and false otherwise. Note a subsequence of a string is a new string that is formed from the original string by deleting some, now possibly none, right? You can skip deleting any character. So by deleting some of the characters without disturbing the relative positions of the remaining characters. This is the definition of a substring. The problem statement, I know, has multiple sentences. In short, it says that you are given a string. You are given another string, right? Don't touch this string, right? Pick the first string. What you can do, you can choose some indices, right? The order doesn't matter. You can choose some indices. And for those indices, you can change the character, right? Whatever is the character here, of your choice, choose the index. Multiple indices you can choose. You can choose all, all the indices of the string. That's totally up to you. Choose those and basically change the characters if needed. So change A to B, B to C, dot, 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 Z to A. That means move to the immediate next character. It's a cycle, right? So choose some indices from string one and change it. Now, what's the purpose of changing it? The purpose of changing is it is that you have to change the string one such that this guy string two is a subsequence of string one right is a subsequence of string one let's see that this is a b c this is a this is a no change needed this is d now d and b cannot be paired because even if you choose b it becomes c so initially it was b now it becomes c then also it is not equals to d right remember i can perform that step only once right i move to the next character my friends this is c if you say change c it becomes d now this is d this is d just see ad becomes a sub sequence of a b c right let's pick this one this is a this is z so whenever you have to check that a particular string is a subsequence of another st uh, string or not, you can do it greedily, right? What do I mean, mean by greedily? Let's see that one, two, three, four, five, six. Some characters are there and this is a smaller string. Let's call it S1. Let's call it S2. I'll just give you a feel of how basically these things are done, right? Now just see, I have to check that is S2 a subsequence of S1 or not, right? So what I'll do to make it a subsequence, the definition says that basically from S1, you delete some of the characters so that you get S2, right? You can skip deleting any character, but ultimately out of the, these six characters, delete two of them such that you get this string S2. This is what the definition of subsequence is, right? Now, what I mean to say, now this is the first character, right? This is the first character. So ideally, you would want that this character matches to one of the characters in S1 and it is as left as possible why as left is possible so suppose this is a character a and you have a occurrence of a here a here right so you would try to match this guy with this guy and not this one why because if you match this guy i do not know what are the other characters that are going to come maybe there were a couple of a's and this would have been matched with this and this would have been matched with this one, right ultimately you want to greedily match a character with the first character that you get right so in this case you match this A with this A, right? I'll, I'll just make it again. These are some of the characters and this, this is the string too, right? I try to match this character with this or this or this. Now suppose this is the position where I get a match. These two characters are same, right? Now what I do, my target will be to match this character, right? My target will be to match this character. So now I'll start matching this character from here, then here, then here, right? Suppose I found a match here. Then I'll start matching this character from here, getting it. Greedily we do it, right? 
and we pick the first character so that our chances are our chances are high that we do not miss a particular character like for again as i told suppose a is here and there are a couple of a's so i would match this a with the first a that i get right right the first a that i get i would not match this a with subsequent a's because this a has gone in vain right i don't know what's the other characters after me so i would try to have the best probability that s2 is a subsequence of s1 so this is how you basically check whether a string is a subsequence of another string or not right so here what we'll do this is zc this is ad let's take that greedy approach zc ad so just see i'll try to match this guy with this guy i'll just check now let's pick and try to change it z becomes a so this a and this a is a match great now i'll try to match d right again this i increment this c it becomes d and there is a match by the way here both the strings have two characters each but even if the length is not equal right like for example a b c and a d was the first example right a b c it was first try to match this guy this matches with this now pick this guy and start matching from here so is b matching d no because if you change b it becomes c if c and d it doesn't match now d, let's choose c you don't go back right you, you move forward it's subsequence right you change c it becomes d yes d. bingo we are done ultimately once i if i'm able to match all the characters of s2 that means yes s2 is a subsequence of s1 right this is what we will do right i hope the core logic is clear how we do that right let's see the implementation it is very very simple i take two pointers to traverse string one and string two now while you have to run till uh, there is a character in s1 and there is a character in s2 right even if one of them fails you have to break the loop right now the required character is s2 dot char at j this is the required character but what is the current character s1 at char at i right i check now if both the characters are same that means i do not need to change this character so if current equals to required great or current plus one mod 26 why because there is a cycle right so the ask so what i have done i have made i have basically mapped a to zero b to one dot 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 z to 25 right so suppose there is a 25 you increment this it becomes plus one i mean it becomes 26 you take mod 26 that is zero so ultimately that is being mapped with zero right that's the that's a simple thing right so if required equals to current plus one mod 26 that means this guy tells you do not need to change it this guy tells that the operation that you're performing is is giving you a success right even if any one of them matches you just do j plus plus because that means the current character of s2 is matched now move to the next character to match it right and if it matches or it doesn't matches that doesn't matter i every time move to the next character of s1 right because each iteration here is a match of is is trying to match one character of s1 to one character of s of s2 maybe there is a match or not but ultimately at every step i have to move forward in s1 right and if there is a match i also move forward in s2 so whenever there is a match i move forward in s2 else obviously i'll have to move forward in s1 right now after i come out of the loop if j is equals to s2 dot length that means if you have consumed all the characters of s2 that means s2 was a subsequence of s1 and hence you simply return true else you return false right this is how you solve these type of problems whenever you have to check for subsequence right true or false you do this thing right now the constraints are high but even that this is a big of n solution no need to worry it works for the largest larger constraints as well right so i hope you learned something new from this video do support it by giving up thumbs up do subscribe to the channel as well let me know in case of any issues if you are facing related to this solution mention that in the comment section i'll record on each one of them thank you take care bye bye